hey friends good morning welcome back to another video welcome welcome my friends glory to god it is monday my friends um and i am currently now here at the laundry mat um i decided to come earlier today today um currently it's eight o'clock and um i already put the clothes in to wash and they're doing their thing about 20 minutes or so um it's peaceful so far um i wanted to beat the crowd this morning um i just uh was motivated to get up earlier today and come out and do my uh laundry so i'm excited for that friends that um i am here and i'm already um enjoying my day since they uh changed the time already it went forward i believe yeah, uh, so um, we got another hour of sleep in, praise the Lord. And um, I'm going to be enjoying the the time more because it feels like I'm going to be able to have more daylight. And um, it'll just be nice because um, usually when the time the before it changed, it was a little bit darker still. And, you know, I was like still wanting to lay in my bed because... There was not that much sun out, but the sun today, uh, thankfully, it's nice and bright and sunny. Right now, it's about 45 degrees. We are going to get up to in the upper 60s. So it's going to be a very pleasant day, though. Um, my morning was uh, slow. Um, I got up and um, got in my word. And I did not have a cup of coffee this morning, but I did bring my Diet Coke with me already. <laughs> so I was uh, thinking, because I was already um, making hubby's lunch in the morning, and I made his breakfast. Uh, so so he eat before he goes off to work. So um, he left. Um, well, he stayed a little bit behind. And... Um, I came to wash just because I, like I said, I didn't want to be here with um, the crowd because we do have one laundry mat, and I wish we had more because um, where I live, um, it's grown from. I remember it when I lived here because I grew up here most of uh, my life, and um, I came to school here and stuff. And it was a small Swedish town. Well, it still is, but it's grown a lot. They're building new homes and more city people are coming in and, and my goodness um, we have a lot uh, more people out here doing their laundry so um, can you imagine um, it gets pretty busy at times because we only have one laundry mat like I said and um, there's several other the next the next town over but that is a drive as well. And sometimes I'm up for it, but not on Monday. Um, just because Mondays are slower. And I like, you know, I want to really uh, not be, you know, driving so much and stuff. Because I do drive a lot. Because um, during the week, I make my errands. And not only that, but I drive my kids to work. So, um, yeah. So, I just really want to be mindful of my time and my energy my friends so yeah i thought i'd just share my my day with you guys my morning and i also wanted to include our morning devotion for the day so you be encouraged amen okay today for me it is march 11th and it says walk by faith not by sight as you take steps of faith depending on me i will show you how much i can do for you if you live your life too safely you will never know the thrill of seeing me work through you when i gave you my spirit i empowered you to live beyond your natural ability and strength that's why it is so wrong to measure your energy level against the challenges ahead of you the issue is not your strength but mine which is limitless by walking close to me you can accomplish my purpose and my strength amen 
2 Corinthians 5, 7, Galatians 3, 25. 525. Sorry, friends. That is the devotion for today. So be encouraged, my friends. We are back home. Glory to God. There we go. So, friends, this is the following day. My apologies. I did not. And was uh, finished up my video vlog yesterday from me doing laundry, my friends. Um, but today, I just decided to pick up my phone real quickly and share what you got with you all what i'm going to be making for dinner on hubby's request um i'm preparing for him a shrimp cocktail one of our favorites here um i picked up this shrimp from grocery outlet i'm going to be adding this shrimp here i'm going to be adding a haiba which is in english imitation crab i only got half um to add here crab meat we're gonna be adding some cilantro tomato and the clamato and right now we just finished cutting this we're gonna be adding roma tomato avocado um tomato cilantro well the cilantro and we are gonna be having them with tostadas and so when all, it all comes together i'm gonna let you guys um in on it uh, i'll be sharing it with you guys but um this is the way how i prepare my shrimp cocktail and it's perfect for this spring weather we've been experiencing so hubby had requested this for tonight's dinner it's gonna be amazing friends as well i was forgetting about the cucumber it was back here out of sight out of mind so this as well we are going to be putting it all in here. Alrighty, friends. We cut the cucumbers, cilantro, crab, tomato, avocado. We washed the shrimp. So now we're just going to put the shrimp here. And then mix all of that together. Then we're going to put that in okay mixed it all together luego we're going to add the clamato pour this baby in just like this All of this and this was a 64 ounce Mix it in. now we're going to add the tomate ketchup <laughs> gonna throw in the tomate with the uh, avocados here we're going to add the 
pepper. We're also going to add, you guys know I add this to everything. <laughs> No secret. We're going to see if it needs some salt. Mm -mm, it's perfect. No salt. We're going to let this marinate uh, a couple of hours. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Good morning, good morning my friends. Welcome back. Um, my friends, I'm so happy I was able to um, sleep in this morning. Glory to God. Um, I had been spring cleaning here and there all last week. Uh, like four days Uh in a row and um it finally caught up to me my friends i am i woke up so um sore i've been feeling sore and not only that but i did start walking here and there as well so maybe it's catching up to me um i am feeling the repercussions <laughs> from the spring clean and uh i started walking slowly um i want to start walking here and there um the first day i went walking i woke up so uh tired the following morning and i think i pushed myself a little too hard for me starting to get back on to walking um so i gotta take it easy um i went out to the high school here in our uh town and i did the I, they say going around that track field is going around four times is about a mile so i only did three i almost did a mile friends but um i couldn't no more just because um i do suffer from sciatica nerve and i feel like i overdid it i kind of stretched it and hurt it and i didn't listen to my body <laughs> and i just kept on going and uh yeah I, I when i got back home i was in pain on my knee but i took aspirin and it like the swelling of my knee uh went down uh thank you jesus because i was like once i got home i was like i shouldn't have pushed myself especially because i'm starting off i ha hadn't walked for a long long time but i know it's been in my heart to do so and gradually i need to start moving a little bit more just because my excuse is always well i do errands here at home and you know i do my chores here and my clean that's enough of my exercise throughout the day but no i need i know i need um you know physical even just a nature walk will do me good amen will do me good for my soul and my and my mind and i'm not kidding the following morning the following day i woke up and stuff and my brain felt a lot clearer um and it's I, i'm thinking because it's uh the walk that i that i put in it helped and that's why i want to start walking a little bit more so help me god <laughs> and let me do my part amen but yeah friends i woke up today soreness um and a little bit on the tired side so i'm taking it slow today it's already going it's already two as i'm speaking here two o'clock i got up um gradually slowly about nine o'clock laid in bed uh read some books of mine that i've been reading and uh i went to go get uh small groceries um uh, and uh I, uh I picked up I picked up a little bit of groceries because yesterday was my grocery day, but I did for, tend to forget some stuff. And today I just picked up this can of corn. We've got this cheesecake that I'm looking forward to eating in a bit after I go get my son from work. And those sodas, because yesterday I bought one, but they're um, almost gone and we still have lots of crimp, uh, shrimp cocktail. 
that we can have this with or even just tostadas like uh, chicken salad tostada with these crunchy tortillas and then I picked up a can of this sweet peas my son picked up this huge bag of Fuji apples and they're so crispy and delicious and so sweet these are so good and that they're huge but you can see back here in my kitchen my sink area my counters they i got a crazy mess back here but gradually we're gonna take care of it i'm gonna take care of it friends so i hope you enjoy this video even if it's you know just uh easy does it uh homemaking today friends and um i'm re-warming up my coffee this afternoon because i did not have any in the morning i also want to take care of my caffeine intake friends because i feel like i can be caffeinated all day honestly so um help me god and um yeah friends um it's a new coffee that i picked up it's a uh, ihop coffee so i'm excited to use that to drink some of that today because i do love their coffee and uh yeah friends so um i hope you enjoy this video and i will be adding a devotion lord willingly so i hope you guys enjoy that as well and let me know how are you guys doing the weather here is partly cloudy like in the 60s but um i'm cold so that's why i have this uh, beanie on my head and also my hair is real crazy like I mentioned I want to let my hair grow out so I'm um, looking at these hairs wanting to come out it's wild so we're gonna tame it with this <laughs> so let me know how you all doing friends and my friends as well please include any uh, special prayer requests you would like for me to pray pray my friends let them in the comment section excuse me and i would love to pray for you my friends forgive me if i don't always um say it on my videos but you're always more than welcome to leave your prayer in the comment section i'd love to pray for you my friends okay so always feel free that you can drop a prayer request in my comment section hey friends so now i'm just going to share with you guys this uh out of this book here uh, the Devotion by Sarah Young. I just love this devotion uh, for every day of the year. So I'm just going to go ahead and include this one, friends. Just while I wait here for my son to get off work. So yeah, my friends, I'm just going to go ahead and read off this book like I was saying. I hope you enjoy today's devotion. And um, when we get back home, we'll start the cleaning on the kitchen, washing dishes, and putting things away. Um, today, um, we are gonna, it's all about taking it easy today, my friends, for me. And I hope when you as well do not fill up for it, um, it's okay to relax and it'll get done when it gets done. Amen. It's, uh, it's important for you to take care of yourself first. Amen. And you can't give what we don't have. So if we don't have the energy the motivation it's okay friends rest relax trust in god and um take it easy because we do need to take care of ourselves amen so that's what i'm doing today um and it's just been a blessing um to start uh well i got up late like i said but it's okay because we are going to go back home and take care of it so for today's devotion it is march 13th amen and my friends excuse me i look rough <laughs> okay okay march 13th says learn to live above your circumstances this requires focused time with me the one who overcame the world trouble and distress are are woven into the very fabric of this perishing world only my life and you can empower you to face these endless flow of problems with good cheer. As you sit quietly in my presence, I shine peace into your troubled mind and heart. Little by little, you are feed, freed from earthly shackles and lifted above 
up above your circumstances. You gain my perspective on your life, enabling you to distinguish between what is important and what is not. Rest in my presence, receiving joy that no one can take away from you. Amen. John 16, 30. 1633 John 1622 amen and that's what I was saying confirmation amen let's learn to live above our circumstances this requires focus time with me the one who overcame the world trouble and distress are woven into your fabric of this perishing world only my life and you can empower you to face this endless flow of problems with good cheer amen Thank you, Jesus, for your word, Father God, for enlightening us. Hallelujah. So I pray for, I pray that this will edify you, my friends, and encourage you. Amen.